everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome i know i've had a few new subscribers these past couple weeks so thank you all for subscribing today we have a few things on the agenda today we're going to set up paycheck two in the may notes pages of this planner and then i'm also going to set up a savings tracker because i think some of the money from this uh, paycheck is going to start going into savings this month so i want to set that up in the notes pages also um, and then also what I want to do for this video, I'm going to be showing a couple new stickers that I have in my Etsy shop, just kind of update everybody, um, show you what's new. And then I also wanted to talk just real quick, mention that I got an Instagram now. I'll put the my name on Instagram right here on the screen, but it's Casey Lee Design. Um, it's the same as my Etsy shop. And basically what my Instagram is going to be about is it's going to just have new release dates. Like when I put something... Um, on Etsy. I will also post a link on Instagram so people can see what's new, especially for these like monthly stickers. Or I think I might even do a calendar possibly at the beginning of the month um, showing which day the new monthly stickers are going to be releasing that month. And I also want to do some behind the scenes kind of for my Etsy shop because I always think that's fun when you get to see just some of the work that goes into people's Etsy shops. All right, but that being said, let's start um, setting up Paycheck 2. We'll put the savings tracker to the side for right now and we'll start with Paycheck 2 in the notes pages. I set up Paycheck 1 um, earlier this month because I got paid on the 1st and then we got paid, we're going to get paid for the 15th and that's the paycheck we're setting up. And so this paycheck includes the 15th through the 28th. Now, Last paycheck, we had one unexpected expense. I forgot we have, um, I forgot that our compassion child has a birthday soon. So we had to put his birthday present, like his birthday gift money in this month. So we went ahead and just did that. And that's coming directly out of our bank account. It's not going on the credit card. So we are actually paying for it this month. So that's why I added one of my generic um, bill due stickers here and just put the description and then the amount that is take, getting taken out of our bank account here. Other than that, everything was um, pretty much how it, we expected it to be for this first half of the month. It was, as you can see, very bill heavy for this paycheck. So we had literally all of our bills except two of them. And this I don't think we're even going to be paying yet because the gym's not open. So almost all of our bills got taken out of this one paycheck. And that's how we like doing it. We like having one paycheck designated kind of more towards the bills. And then the other paycheck in the month is goes more towards savings or putting towards our mortgage, which is our only debt that we have left. So this paycheck too is gonna go more towards savings, I decided. We may possibly throw it a little bit towards debt because we haven't really been putting anything towards our mortgage lately. Um, actually, like at all this year, we did like one time, I think. So we may be doing that, but I know we'll put some into savings because that's what we're really focusing on right now. But we're gonna get started setting this up. So I set it up in the notes pages. So I'm just gonna turn to that. Right here my next blank notes pages and I'm gonna just start putting the stickers down on this page um, these are my all, all the stickers I'm using today you can find in my Etsy shop and I'll have the link below if I'm using any other stickers I'll let you know but I think today just for this I think I'm just gonna use uh, what I have but these are my um, some of my budget stickers and I like breaking all my budgets into each paycheck, as you can see, like that's how my videos go. I just like doing that instead of a full monthly budget. It just works better for me. Um, but I also have, if you do like a whole May budget or ev like every month you just do one budget. I also have stickers that say like May budget instead of like paycheck one, paycheck two, paycheck three, and so on. And I have different designs each month also. So this is May's design. Um, I'm going to leave some spaces real quick. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll need five spaces because my husband gets, husband gets paid once and then I'll get paid twice. And then we'll have some rollover because I carry over. Um, we actually don't have rollover this time, but I'm going to put that anyway. Um, I always just like having that category because we usually rollover is just whatever's left in our checking account that can go towards the expenses this, um, this paycheck. But... We, like I said, we, we pretty much, um, our bank account doesn't really have much in it because we've put it all towards the bills last month. Um, but I'm still going to make a category for that. And then I have another category. So that's five, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put this one down underneath that. 
And this notebook that I'm using is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. They just came out, Erin Condren just came out with some new life planners and actually just bought one. I bought, I decided, I have a horizontal right now and I decided to go with a vertical because I see a lot of people using verticals and I've never actually used a vertical planner. So I wanted to try it out for next year. Um, I'm not gonna be using it until January. I started it in January, um, from January to December next year because that's just how I like using planners. I like them just for the full year. I don't like them starting in July like a lot of people do. Um, and when like the new releases, Erin Condren always releases them in July. And I bought it now, but it starts actually in January. And I'm gonna put, so my total, so my expenses, like I said, if we go back to my page and look right here. So we only have one expense because like I said, the gym, I put this here because I didn't know if it was gonna be opening anytime soon, but it's not. Um, so I'm actually gonna take that sticker off, but um, we we have one, one expense. We're expecting one expense and then I'll put the unexpected um, just in case we get something like we had the $30 birthday gift last month, but other than that, we don't really have any expenses for this paycheck. So I'm going to leave two and then put these down. It's total strip. And then I always just like putting this last little strip, just like a decorative washi strip down at the bottom. Um, it just kind of ties the page in and I don't need to use the rest of this page. So it can, I, I feel like it just kind of finishes it off. And now what I'm gonna do is fill in my, uh, just the actual the income and the expenses area. And then we'll put go on to the amounts. Actually, before I wanna do that, I wanna draw, I like drawing my lines. Um, it just makes it look a lot nicer. So I'm gonna draw lines between all the columns. So I'm gonna grab my ruler and draw some lines real quick on the page. So I decided to start an Instagram because I did have some people asking about like when some of my new release things were going to come for like the monthly budget kits, um, some of them that would order every month. And I know it would be helpful if you know, if I kind of had like the same time every month that I would like release the new design for the next month. And so that's why I figured Instagram would be good for that because because sometimes I mention it in my videos, but then you have to watch the whole video through and I know um, some people might miss my video. If you don't want to miss a video, just click that bell icon down there um, near the subscribe bot uh, near the subscribe button, and then you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. But I figured it'd be easy instead of watching a video and having to catch it while I'm just saying it in the video. I figured it'd be easier just to post something on Instagram. So I thought that would be a fun new. Uh, adventure to try like start an Instagram account and try to um, keep my business kind of up to date there and then the behind the scenes thing I just thought it'd be fun to have some behind the scenes posts not many probably um, I don't because because I'm not like full-time on the sticker business or anything but I thought it'd be fun like my dog goes down there sometimes and she's like my supervisor so it's like that'd be fun to post to show everybody what she does while I'm cutting stickers and everything. So I accidentally, I always do this. I always go extra. So I'm just going to wipe that out. I can never do this right. I always mess up something when I'm drawing these lines, but that's fine. <laughs> All right. There we go. That looks good. And now I'm going to write in the names up here and then our two expenses. And I always get, uh, have two in each like two week period because I get paid weekly and then my husband only has one um, because he gets paid bi-weekly. But his is like the main paycheck we use. So that's the, what I go off of for each um, paycheck. I go off his paychecks actually. So within like this paycheck, technically there's three paychecks, but I just call it like paycheck two. It's all like lumped into the second paycheck for the month. And I totaled other is always zero because it's not expected or anything. Um, but I totaled with all the, with these other four amounts, the total for this paycheck is $2,523.75. So that's what we have to work with. Um, and then for our expenses, I just have the water. 
that we saw back there on the first, on the monthly spread. And then I'm putting in unexpected. I don't really know why I was looking at this and I always put other for like any unexpected income for income part and unexpected for expenses. They're kind of interchangeable. I don't know why I use both of them, but that's kind of what I've just always done. So I don't really have a reason for doing that. Um, and we got the bill for this water. It'll automatically get taken out later this month. Um, so we didn't pay it yet, but we know how much it's going to be. And then you can put the total right here. And that's how that looks. So I'm done with this page now. We're actually, so I took this and subtracted 7755 from this number, and we're going to have um, about $2,446 left um, if we don't have any ex unexpected expenses for this paycheck. So that's why I'm going to be saving up my, or that's why I'm going to be setting up my savings tracker. And we're going to do that on the back of the transaction log area. And putting all this down. This one's a little different style, so I don't have to align the, I don't have the thing to line it up with, but I'll do my best. I think it's crooked. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. So for these uh, savings trackers, you have the account column, and then the beginning balance column, deposit and withdrawal columns, and then you have the ending balance columns. This And this is going to be for the whole month. Um, and if I put my debt tracker on here, I'm going to be putting it like on the second half of this page. So I might actually just kind of put the, this would be like a, up here. Um, because we're not, we're only going to put something in savings once, maybe twice, um, because we'll only be putting it in our one account. We could put the other account on here too. Um, and actually we might do that just so then I have like a, maybe I'll probably start doing this savings tracker every month. And then we'll have our checking, our saving account one and two. We have two savings account. One's is, one has like not much money in it at all, but we had to open it when we refinanced our house because it gave us a better rate. So I'm thinking maybe I will just put two. I think I will leave two and then I'll put totals because I know we're not going to put anything else for this month. If we do, I'll just have to get a new set of stickers or something. I'll peel this up. But we'll be putting this here and then I'll fill that out. I don't know exactly what is in our savings account right now, so I'll have to fill that out. Um, a little bit later but I have that set up now and then like I said this might just be I might kind of just put it up here I'm just gonna put it up here we'll see how it looks like if, if I don't like it next time I don't have to do it this way and the debt tracker is really useful if you have multiple debts um, I know a lot of people use that uh, we since we have just the mortgage debt, um, I just kind of go online and I know exactly how much debt we have left but if you have multiple decks, it's uh, the debt tracker is really helpful for that. It's very similar to the savings tracker. Um, and you can put all your debt accounts and then you can kind of keep track of what the beginning balance was and then figure out what the ending balance was for the month. All right, so that's all I'm setting up for this. I have an extra space right here because paycheck three, we get three paychecks in May. So I have the stickers over here. So this uh, paycheck three sticker kit will go right here in this page. And then this will actually all be filled up this month. I have been keeping track of all my transactions and this is the only one. So this is the one that I recorded because we had, a, it was kind of, I called it cash because it's coming straight out of our uh, checking account and we didn't put it on the credit card. Everything else is on the credit card and we'll get paid next month. So that's why it's not included in this month's balance. But that's all I'm gonna do for setting up my budget this month. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I am going to show you though, I have some fun stickers that I have been putting on my Etsy shop. So I'm doing some foil stickers right now. And these, I'll show you how they look kind of on here. Um, the side. So these are, they, they're gold foil or silver foil. You can choose which one. They're hard to see. Like they look really good in person. They're kind of hard to uh, photograph, um, but that's kind of, 
you can kind of see the shine. This is the gold one. And you get the little like piggy bank with the little coin going in the piggy bank and then the cash, it's like money icon. Um, and I have, there's 80 icons total on this. So there's 40, 40 of the little pigs and then 40 of the cash. And you can put them, I'd use these if you don't want to use the big payday sticker. There's these, uh, just the small, like this could be a payday sticker and it's more minimal if you like a more minimal look. So you could use these for paydays and then you could use these for days that you put money into savings just as a little like icon reminder. And you can see how many days you throw money into savings, see how many days you get paid then obviously with this. Um, I have two sizes. I don't have any of the cash ones actually up here with me. The cash would be the same as these outlined hearts. And then the little piggy bank would be these three rows of the salad hearts. That's how many you would get with the bigger size stickers. They are really small and I like them that way. I am sending out samples in some of my Etsy orders that I've gotten. So if you have ordered from me, you will probably get a few samples of these just because I want to see everybody, like show people in person what they look like. Um, so if I have any printed out, I have a little sample sheet that I've been sending along in orders. If you do order from my Etsy shop, I always throw in a little freebie. But that's kind of, since these are new, I just wanted to show people kind of what, what these looked like. And so right now I just have these, like, these icons, the cash icons, the piggy bank icons, and they're all on this, this sheet, like I have them together. And then you have these hearts on a sheet, which also come in the small size too. They come in both sizes. And then they both come in silver or gold. You can also just get them in the flat black ink if you'd like, if you prefer no foil. I do have that option on there too. But, and the sticker, there's little clear circle stickers. Um, they're probably hard to see, but you can probably see in there that they're just little like circle, clear circle stickers. I'll pull one off, um, and show you. So this is, this is the mini size. So I just called a mini and standard. So here's the mini, like this is how small it is. Um, so that's the mini. And then the next size, I'll put this on this little sheet. This is the little sample sheet. The There's the mini next to the um, standard, I call it. It focuses there. So you can kind of see the difference. But those are my clear icon stickers. I just wanted to show everybody that. I'm planning on doing more of those little clear circle icons. I just wanted to start and see how well this goes. If you have any requests for um, any icons that you would like me to uh, do, you can put them down below. I do like doing custom stickers for people. I try to like customize things so that people get stickers that they will use and they that they need. And the last thing I wanted to show everybody is I do have the June stickers up. These are all the flamingo pattern is up on my on the Etsy shop and all the budget stickers are along with it. I will be getting July stickers up uh, this by this weekend at the very latest. So I'm working on those right now. So those, all the budget stickers and the monthly layout stickers for the 7x9 planners and the 8.5x11s will be up sometime this weekend. Other than that, that is everything that I was going to show you today. I hope it's warming up where everybody is right now. It's getting very warm here. I'm really tired of winter. It's been really long winter. It's May, so it shouldn't be getting warmer now. But we're finally getting warm weather starting this week. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.